Section 3 of The Persian Hidden Words Revealed by Baha'u'llah Translated by Anton Haddad This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org Recording by Nicholas James Bridgewater The Persian Hidden Words Revealed by Baha'u'llah, Section 3, Persian Hidden Words, 39-57. to 57. 39. O son of ashes, be not contented with the repose of a single day, and cast not away the everlasting rest. Exchange not the immortal garden of perpetual delight for the earthly furnace of mortality ascend from the dungeon to the beautiful country of life and repair to the alluring garden of the placeless from the cage of existence forty o my servant shake off the fetters of worldly possessions and free thyself from the prison of the self seize the opportunity because thou shalt never see this time again nor shalt thou find a similar opportunity forty one o son of my maidservant if thou couldst see the immortal dominion surely thou wouldst cast aside the mortal possession with all determination but there is a wisdom in the former being covered and some mysteries in the latter being manifest which only holy minds can comprehend forty two o my servant purge thy mind from malice and set out for the holy presence of the unity free from envy forty three o my friends walk in the path of the will of the friend his will hath been and will be in his creatures for no one must enter the home of his friend against his will neither dispose of his property nor prefer his own will to his will nor claim precedence in any wise then think upon this o possessors of reflection forty four o friend of my throne hear not evil and behold not evil degrade not thyself neither lament that is utter no evil words and thou shalt not hear them think not the faults of others to be great and thine own faults will not seem great be not pleased with the abasement of any soul and then thine own abasement will not be seen so with pure heart holy mind sanctified breast and upright thoughts during all the days of thy life which are counted less than an instant thou mayest be detached and return with ease from this mortal body to the paradise of inner significance and abide in the immortal kingdom forty five woe to ye woe to ye o lovers of lustful passions ye have left the spiritual beloved with the swiftness of lightning and have attached your hearts firmly to devilish thoughts ye worship fancy and call it fact ye are gazing at a thorn and call it a flower not a free breath have ye drawn neither hath a breeze of self-renouncement blown from the garden of your minds ye have cast to the winds the compassionate advices of the beloved efface them from the tablet of your minds and have become as low animals 
feasting in the pastures of lust and desire. 46. O brothers of the path, why are ye heedless of the remembrance of the beloved, and why are ye far from the presence of the friend? The absolute beauty is established upon the throne of glory under the peerless canopy while ye are engaged in argument according to your own passion. The fragrances of holiness are wafting and the breezes of generosity are blowing, but ye have lost the power to smell and are unable to sense any of them woe unto you and unto whosoever followeth in your steps and walketh in your footprints forty seven o children of desire divest yourselves from the garment of vanities and strip yourselves from the robe of pride forty eight in the third of the lines of holiness of the ruby tablet it is inscribed in fine type o brethren deal with one another in kindness and cut your minds from the world neither boast when in honour nor be ashamed when in abasement i swear by my own beauty that i have created ye all from the dust and will assuredly turn ye all again unto dust. 49. O children of dust, make known to the rich the wailing of the poor, lest the latter be brought to ruin through their heedlessness, and have no share in the tree of good fortune. Mercy and generosity are both of my qualities, happiness, unto him who adorneth himself with my characteristics. 50. O essence of passion, cast aside greed, and be satisfied with contentment, because the covetous hath always been deprived of all good, whilst the contented hath been beloved and accepted. 51. O son of my maidservant, be neither troubled in poverty, nor at ease in wealth. All poverty is succeeded by wealth, and all wealth is followed by poverty. Destitution of everything that is beside God is the greatest gift despise it not because in the end thereof the wealth of god will appear this condition is hidden in the verse of the quran thou art the poor and the blessed word god only is wealthy shall appear shine blaze forth and glitter as the true morn from the horizon of the lover's mind and shall be established and stationed upon the throne of wealth fifty two o children of heedlessness and passion ye have brought my enemy to my home and have sent away my friend from ye so that ye have placed the love of another than myself in the mind listen to the saying of the friend and approach his garden outward friends have loved and love each other only with regard to their own interests but the real friend loveth and hath loved ye for the sake of yourselves nay rather he hath accepted countless afflictions for your special guidance oppress not such a friend but hasten to his abode this is the son of the word of truth and faithfulness which hath arisen from the horizon of the finger of the possessor of names 
open your ears to hear the word of god the protector the self-subsisting fifty three o ye who are puffed up by mortal possessions know that wealth is a strong barrier betwixt the seeker and the desired one between the lover and the beloved a few only of the wealthy shall enter the abode of nearness and come into the city of contentment and resignation then good is the condition of that wealthy one whom wealth preventeth not from the everlasting kingdom and depriveth not of the eternal riches i swear by the greatest name that the light of that wealthy one shall impart brightness to the celestial inhabitants as the sun to the dwellers of the earth fifty four o wealthy ones of the earth the needy are a trust of mine among ye then protect them carefully and be not wholly occupied with your own ease fifty five o child of passion be pure from the stain of wealth and step into the heavens of poverty with all tranquillity then thou shalt drink the wine of eternity from out the source of death fifty six o my son the companionship of the wicked increaseth sorrow and the fellowship of the just removeth rust from off the mind whosoever desireth to be associated with god let him associate with his lovers and whosoever desireth to hear the speech of god let him hearken unto the speeches of his chosen ones fifty seven o son of dust beware befriend not the wicked and seek not his companionship because the society of the wicked changeth the light of the spirit into the fire of hell end of section three recording by nicholas james bridgewater recorded in london england